I speak to you this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated, and I invite that any kids who are here with us, little to big, to come on up if you would like to, to help me with the sermon this morning. And we have presents, so I am not above bribery. We've got presents now and food later. So why don't you come on forward? You can just have a seat up here, whatever works for you. And if you decide that you're not comfortable coming forward, you can come and get a gift bag later, or you can bring your big person with you, or you can just change your mind midway through the service and come forward. It's all good. Whatever works for you. So thanks for joining us at church this morning. Come have a seat, wherever works for you. So I'm Mother Amy, and I'm really glad to welcome you back for the start of another church here. You want to find a spot to sit down? And Gordy, I forgot to grab the handheld mic. Do you mind going and grabbing it from the sacristy? <laughs> Thank you. Um, and what I may just do is ask you guys some questions and repeat them. So um, today we are starting a season that we do here in church every year, kind of at this time of the year, called our stewardship campaign. And stewardship is a word that's about like taking care of. And so one of the things we are going to be spending the next several weeks talking about is how do we take care of the church and how does the church take care of us and what can we do individually and together to keep St. Luke's prospering and doing well and um, continuing to be here for folks when they show up and when they need something, whether that need is just coming to church on Sunday morning or maybe they have a need like something big has happened in their family, like there's a new baby or someone had surgery. Um, and so we can show up for folks with stuff like that or Sunday school, which again, bribery, we're going to start having snacks in Sunday school. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, anyway, so our theme this year for the stewardship campaign is growing in God. And you see we have this giant new banner up here that Mary Franklin, who's our acolyte this morning, one of our acolytes, um, made for us. And what we're going to do is every time we get a um, pledge, a promise of giving um money to the church in the coming year, we're going to put one leaf on that tree for every member of that family. And so our hope is that ultimately that tree is going to look like a big, beautiful, flourishing, growing tree, just like we are a big, beautiful, growing, flourishing parish. So there's some interesting things when we talk about growing. Um, one of the things that's really amazing is I'm sure, you, well, you may have heard of a man named Darwin who came up with um, the theory of evolution, which is that things grow and change with time. And some people think God and science are two separate things. But Darwin was a really faithful Christian, actually, and he said science would not be possible without God there are things that seem kind of magical about how the world grows and changes. And so one of the things that's wonderful is as things grow and change, we're able to do more things. So for example, can any of you think of something that you can do now that you couldn't do when you were smaller or I can think of something. Can you think of anything? One idea I have is, for the most part, everybody walked up here all by themselves. Could you do that when you were born, when you were a teeny little baby? Could you have walked up here? So that's one way when you were growing that you were able to do something now. Can you think of something else you can do now that you could not do when you were little? They aren't hard questions, I promise. Did you pick out your own clothes when you were little, when you were a baby? Nope. 
you get to pick out your clothes when you grow up. In theory, depending on what your, you know, relationship agreements are, sometimes you don't get to pick out the outfit that you want to wear. Um, what else? You get to eat food when you were tiny. You didn't get to eat food, right? You didn't go to school or maybe read or hear books. You didn't get to ride a bike or run or play on the playground or learn new things or color pictures or dance or all these things. And then you get bigger and you start to do things like driving cars and maybe going to college or learning a new skill so you have a job and you meet new people and maybe you make your own new family that adds to the family you already do. And so growing means all sorts of amazing things happen. And we all grow in different ways. We look really different as we grow and that's good too. And one of the things that we know from evolution is we evolve and change in ways that help make the system better. So I know when I first arrived here a year ago, when I invited folks up, we had maybe one person who came up or maybe two. And look how many people we have up here right now. It's really exciting. And we have a choir that's been growing. We've got new people who are wanting to join our choir. And we have new faces who were not here a year ago. And so there are all sorts of ways that we're growing. And so one of the things that is in your gift bag that I want to give you that's an example of growing, but we don't always know the direction that we're going to go, is we try to do the right thing, right? And that doesn't always happen, but we try to follow the rules or the instructions. And does anybody know what the number one rule that Jesus told us to do is. We heard it again today. The one rule, yeah. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's right. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And today we heard, like, basically, love. You just got to love. That's the rule. And so when you show up and you love, surprisingly things, surprising things can happen. And one of the things I love is science experiments. So in the bag today, what you are going to get is a science experiment to grow your own crystals at home. And there are instructions, and I take no responsibility for it being messy or hard. So, you know, that's on you and God. So, But I will pray that they all work out. So they're kits. And what's really neat is there is a picture, there's an idea of how this crystal might grow and maybe even an expectation for how it's going to grow but you don't know for sure what's going to happen what color it might be or what shape it might be it might be round it might be spiky it might have points and that's the thing each crystal is going to be so pretty the other really fun thing about these crystals they glow in the dark so if you want to put it in your room then at night when you turn the lights out you will have a little glow in the dark thing there for you again your results may vary but what's really cool is that's a reminder of how when we're all growing we're not alone right like you're there with that crystal and that crystal is there with you just like your family is with you and your community here. Like no matter what happens as we're growing through our lives, people are with us. God is with us and love shows up. And so one of the beautiful things is when we show up and we're growing in God and we're giving the best that we can and what we have, beautiful things happen, even if they're beautiful in an unexpected way. So has anybody ever grown a crystal? You have? Did it work? No, it did not work. Well, we are going to pray the heck out of these crystals. We're going to trust they're going to work. And if your crystal works, would you please send me a picture of it? Because I really want to see these crystals. And maybe we'll even put some pictures of them on our website or um, in our newsletter. Because it's exciting. We never know exactly how it's going to turn out. So as you're thinking about how you're growing and changing and remembering that love is the most important thing, let's show up and trust that we are growing together in the direction toward love 
and that things are going to appear as they are supposed to appear and we will meet them with love even if they're hard or they're a little bit challenging or disappointing which hopefully is not going to be what happens with the crystals but even if it does somebody's going to show up and say I can help you because guess what I probably have another kit and if you ask I'd give you another one because I want you to be happy yeah I want you to show up and feel like people are taking care of you and that you've got what you need so my invitation to you as you get ready to go back to your seats if you are on a fifth grade or younger the bags closest to the altar have things that you will most enjoy and you can pick out any of the bags that you like if you are middle school or older and Yes, that means if we have anybody who wants to come up regardless of your age, but let's let the students do it first. Um, the bags that are on the kneelers are yours and you're welcome to come and grab one. And hopefully you'll find things in there that bring you joy and help you feel welcome and loved and kind of an exciting science adventure. So remember that we are so glad that you're here and that we are all growing in God, whether we are just born or we've been here for quite some time, and that we are excited to be journeying together. Amen. <laughs>